So you're a married woman in love with another woman. Here's how you break the news to the ones you love. So first and foremost, the person who has to know that this is happening is your spouse, your husband. And that conversation is probably terrifying to you when you think about it, when you sit down and you know you have to tell them about this information. But the truth is that you didn't look for this or expect it. It wasn't something you planned on. And it also isn't necessarily anything that your husband did wrong. And that's really important to convey during that first conversation with them, is that it's not necessarily about what's wrong with them, but rather what you needed for your Yourself. And it may be true that there were parts of your marriage that were not great, but that's not what that initial conversation needs to highlight. Instead, it's about what you need and therefore taking that time to explain to your husband it's not about him. Second in line of the most important people you have to tell are, of course, your children. And this, of course, depends on the age of your children and how you want to frame the conversation. But the number one overarching conversation starter is about how much you love them and that no matter what, you will Will always have that parental love for them. And if they're younger children, somewhere around that idea that romantic love can change, but that parental love does not. The other big part of this is that if you are happier, you're a better parent. And so when you can talk to your kids and explain to them that you haven't been happy and that that's maybe why you've been grumpy more often or snapping or seemingly unfulfilled, again, depending on the age of your kids, this is the place to say, look, being happier will be better for you. And I need that for myself to be the best kind of mom that I can be for you. The last group of people that you really have to address, and this is obviously a big kind of conglomerate group of people, are your friends and family beyond your husband and kids. And here's where you really want to give them the information that you want them to know, rather than letting them ask questions or wonder and have judgment in the background. So you wanna take the time to basically answer all the questions you think they might have before they even ask, to explain to them that, you know what, you did try for years with your husband, that this, isn't, this wasn't an easy decision. This wasn't something you came to lightly and you have talked about it and you've worked on things and it's still not working for you. And the love you found with this woman is something that you can't deny and you want to pursue for your own happiness. And that's all you really have to do. You don't have to apologize to anyone, but you want to answer those questions for them. So again, the conversations with your husband, your kids, and your friends and family are scary, but they are manageable if you approach them in the way where you know you're being true and honest to yourself, and therefore you can go out there and show them that you are making the right decision for you. Connect with me at drjanelle.com.